Hey guys and welcome back uh, to part 3 of this mini series on how to holster a weapon and in the last uh, episode I showed how to m make this uh, character that you can run around with and you can holster your weapon and you can get it back again and uh, a few things I noted since uh, last time is that if I run around and reload um, holster the weapon he's gonna slide around and I also want to address this issue with the uh, animation dipping since it's kind of annoying and um, really confusing. So first of all, um, one thing to note is that I am on, if I go to about Unreal Engine, here you can see I'm on version 4.10.1 and since I believe it's uh, 4.11 um, preview 2, um, uh, Epic, they actually went ahead and fixed that um, problem with the animation dipping. And just to be clear, it's not a, a engine an engine uh, issue. It's uh, actually an animation issue with these um, six, seven animations. And if you have watched some of the videos around, you will know that uh, maybe that. Uh, let's take another one. Um, if you click on the skeleton, the reason for, uh, for the dipping is because of the animation blending and the reason for the actual problem with the dipping is that if you pay attention to these um, axes here on the root, you will notice that the green uh, axis, which is the uh, Y axis, is pointing down and the C axis is pointing forward. <clears throat> so this is actually rotated around the X axis uh, 90 degrees. Uh, versus if you look at the one of the animation pack, just any one that popped up on the other screen. Hang on. Okay, so okay, bad example. Just um, oh, let's take this one uh, anyway. Um, so if you take a look at the root uh, on the skeleton here. And move in a bit on the road you'll notice that uh, here we have um, let's see. we have the, um, the C axis pointing upwards and the Y axis pointing forward and whenever you're gonna have a transition between animations with different rotations on the route that uh, axis here is gonna also interpolate uh, between these two uh, orientations here. So that's the reason why the animation is dipping. So just to be clear on that. So the, the way Epic fixed this, I guess it's by um, uh, fixing that uh, um, rotation on, on the route. So if uh, the, way, the way to <clears throat> verify that problem, uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit the theory here. Um, because I think it's interesting and uh, kind of useful in the long run to know this uh, in the beginning. It confused the uh, shit out of me in the beginning, I must say. So what I uh, would do to illustrate this is if um, I take one of these bad animations, the third person idle, and I go to assert actions and export it. And I'm just going to dump this on my desktop. I think I have it somewhere here already. Um, and then go into Maya. I believe it's, you can use any prop, uh, program that can show uh, rotations and like Blender can probably also show this. But um, I only have the experience um, since I started with, uh, with Maya. So what we get in here is uh, the skeleton and this is uh, some of the IK um, joints, which I have no idea what is used for. Shut up, sorry. Um, my phone keeps dinging. And um, if you click the root, which is here, you will see that, that uh, the rotate X has a value of 90. And that's the reason why uh, this is really bad. They should never have shipped this, this with a, a rotation on this axis here. So. Just to be, be clear, you never want to have a rotation on, on your route, ever. <clears throat> so the way um, to get the animation from um, 
one of the newer versions is to start up uh, the Epic Launcher and make sure that you, um, right now, in a, in a short while, they are going to release the, the final uh, 4.11, I believe. But I went ahead and downloaded uh, preview uh, 4.11 preview 3. So if I switch to that, it's going to start up on the other screen. So I'm just going to move it over in a, in a moment. So go ahead and start a third person project and call this um, something like 411, 11, 0, whatever. But make sure to pick third person. And it's also going to load up on the other screen. So give it a moment. Okay. And in here we can find the exact same. Uh, stuff that we did with the 410. Um, so what you want to do here is to open up the mannequin and the animations. So if you want to, you only want to do this if you want to keep working in 410. But if you want to do this in 411, you kind of want to start a new project actually. But if you want to port this back to uh, 410, uh, then you want to select all these and hit um, export and let's just dump, in, dump them all in the root of the content folder here all of them so save 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 go ahead and save all of them okay and then you actually don't need this for anything else um, so I don't know what, where that came from so close it up again and go back to your original project we started working with and then you want to import these again so um, you just click import and make sure you're pointing to that 4.11.0 where you just exported them and in this situation I picked third person idle so I'm gonna pick third person idle as well here so it says do you want to override this so say yes and you want to make sure to pick uh, the right skeleton this one is for the animation starter pack and I should have actually have renamed this so it's more clear this is the one that comes with the third person skeleton so pick that and import it and then third person jump uh, re-import oops import well um, third person jump one say yes and just work your way through all these I don't know if you can batch import these actually maybe you can um, but let's just do it manually third person jump loop Third person jump start. And almost there. Third person run. <clears throat> and finally the walk animation. So uh, go ahead and save everything and when we now play uh, and we change weapon from one to the other we uh, we have gotten rid of the animation dip. There's a little change in the foot location and that's because uh, well, the way they made that animation and I guess you want to adjust the animation if you want to get rid of this. Um, anyway, we wanted to take another look at uh, uh, take a look at another thing, the sliding here. So let's um, close that one up and go ahead and open up the animation blueprint. 
So the thing is, r uh, last time we just inserted a slot, and that slot is going to play uh, based on um, the weapon holster slot. So it's going to take a source, which is the the current movement, and then it's going to play on top of that the weapon holster slot. But right now it's just overriding that uh, default state machine animation, whatever comes out of that. So what we want to do in this situation is that we want to make sure to play this but only on the upper body and we still want to play whatever is coming from the default state machine so we want to use a blend uh, blend per bone layout blend per bone node which looks like this and um, you can alt and click on this one to disconnect it so um, this is going to take two poses so one of them is going to be the, the base pose and the other one is going to be the, the new the weapon holster slot pose. And then you can connect this one up. So if, what happens when you compile this is uh, that it's not going to complain about anything. And uh, the thing is when you change the weapon here, nothing happens. You can see nothing is blending. Suddenly he just changes. So the reason for this is we don't have a source here, and the source needs to actually be the same as the, our default state machine. So you also want to plug this one in. But the thing is, you can't connect this up two places. <coughs> so in order to get this to work, we need to make a, what is called a cache of this. So this basically means that we make a copy of whatever is uh, coming out of the state machine. So we type in cache. And you get this new cache save cache pose and it's going to give it this weird name so and it's also not connect going to connect it but um, i usually call these um, if this is my locomotion they call it the default uh, here but i'm gonna usually this contains all the locomotion all the movement so motion and then i'm gonna call this my locomotion cache so the thing is, now you can use that same uh, the output of this. You don't, you can't connect it up, but you can type in use. So then, then this one comes up: use cache pose locomotion cache, and um, that is going to be a copy of this. So now we can play again. Uh, hang on a sec. We forgot to connect, make a copy also of this one. I hope this makes sense. So we, what we're doing here is we're making a copy of this and then we're using it both in the base pose and we're also using it as the, to feed in as the source of this slot and we're going to blend it. And actually one more thing we need to do um, because right now he's still going to do the same thing. So one thing else we need to do is to go and this layer setup, you can uh, on the layout blend per bone, you can expand that and say uh, branch filter, and then click add element. And here you can type in a bone name, and that bone name is going to be uh, from where you want to blend. And if you click on the skeleton up here, you can say, okay, I want to blend from my spine, from this point and upwards. So I just uh, remember this name spine underscore zero one and that's what I'm going to type in into this one so under my layer setup um, spine underscore zero one and blend depth is I believe zero is means that it's going to go all the way uh, up so everything from up and above is going to blend in so now he's, he is uh, animating again and, and he can also run around and still play the animation on top of that. So I um, guess that's it for this video. I hope this uh, was useful, useful. and uh, just feel free to ask questions on the channel and I'll reply as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and 